We're standing here with WFL and you know that precision and rigidity is a keynote for so long. I mean, look at those beautiful, perfect blue chips. However, when we're talking about this machine as well, there are so many components that allow them to amplify and excel your machine shop. And I'm with Steve today. We're gonna to talk about some of those components beyond the rigidity and precision that we know them so well for. Steve, we got swing, we got harder materials. Let's go over some of the details that you want to emphasize today. Well, Tony, as you just pointed out, it's the safety aspect of a lot of the components that we produce on, behalf, on our machines for our customers. That in the aerospace industry, the oil and gas, power generation, these are safety critical. We pride ourselves on delivering solutions with the machine to help our customers deliver those products to their customers and ensure the safety of their components in full operation. And being a solutions provider, I'm looking at this and I see Again, the most one of the most beautiful parts I've seen. I see a sign here that says clamp once, machine complete. I see a head that has so much movement and looking from front to back, this isn't a sub spindle. You have two more or less main spindles that go into this thing because it's a mirror image. Let's talk about some of the details, the swing of the machine, the overall length, I believe one meter to six meters, the different sizes people can buy and get into. Can we go over some of those numbers as well? Of course you can on this. Swing, for example, we go from 650 to 670, Woo. and it gives you a, you know, it is a, an M50. It is a big machine, but it gives you a lot of swing. As you can see, this machine is a three meter machine, but we go up to six meters in between sensors. This gives again a lot of scope for us to reach a lot of customers because swing is important in, in many instances, but sometimes it's the length, the actual turn between, between centers that is more important. So we offer our offerings cover a broad range of potential customers. And you've mentioned some numbers that in a lot of people's machine shops might sound massive, but this is actually the little brother to a bigger machine that we're gonna talk about in another video. But what I wanna highlight, Steve, before we even get into that size, and we will talk about it, is this machine, we're not just cutting aluminum. We're not just cutting plastics or soft materials. The fact that this thing will last for a lifetime in the harder materials, the exotic materials, the one that some people watching right now will just call a pain in the butt, you're able to run those and cut those for a long time without the machine wearing down and breaking down. I've been around the world, Steve. I don't always see that. Well, again, what you've just covered is a wonderful thing. And these days, a lot of people focus on cost per part. And if you have a look at a cost per part on this machine, you know, a lot of our machines are in the market are plus 20 years old, plus 25 year old, and still delivering the same levels of accuracy and performance. And something else I want to bring up for everyone watching right now, and I know Steve's going to feel very similar in this way, is even we see machines out there that are, that are cutting some of the exotic and harder materials, then we start looking at, well, yeah, what feed rate, what depth of cut, how rigid is it really? How much time are we losing on those cycles when we think about how quickly we can push through based on that strength and rigidity where you guys really have that power that's required to cut those materials? It's a good observation that what the savings varies across a number of customers, but a very good point. We have a wonderful applications team here that on every solution that we've looked at in my time with the company, and I'm sure before and where we're going now, on some projects we're, we're working on, cycle time down is achievable every time. The tool and companies obviously contribute because we've got the power, but the tool and companies have got to aid us by giving us the tools that can complement that power. But we are achieving real cycle time savings for our customers. That's exactly what we want to hear when we talk about wanting to make money as well. Now, it's something I want to glaze over pretty quickly, but I know it has super importance. So if you want to talk a little bit more about it, totally up to you, but I know we need to talk about it, which is a system that actually measures this thing and allows us to make the, the, the as we mentioned, clamp once machine complete. And the fact that Siemens now is a major part all the time on your machines as well. So can we talk about those two components? Another great observation we have in process measurement yes. uh, on these machines, on both machines, as you pointed out. We do the usual stuff, which is uh, with a probe, with a bloom, or with a Renishaw probe, two options that we have on our machines. But something that's quite unique to the WFL machines is that we also incorporate a ultrasonic measuring system, 
which allows us to measure wall thickness and determine before it leaves the machine that there's a consistent wall thickness throughout the component. If not, we can actually make it adjustments through offsets and correct anomalies within the, within the components. Well, as I'm looking at this part and we talk to the audience as well, I'm going to begin to close this out, but I just want to close this by saying, if I had to take this part out by hand or even by robot and try to put it back again, how much of a pain that might be. So that system, I mean, that saves money, that saves time. It's so important to have that completed part in the one setup, right? I mean, that's, that's important. So let's quickly touch on Siemens as well. Yeah, again, I, I, on the Siemens side of it, we've upgraded our Siemens control recently. So all our machine offerings now come with the brand new Siemens One control. Absolutely perfect. That's the end of the interview. You have met my hero, Steve, here at WFL as well. This is one of the machines. We're going to sprinkle a little water on it, and it's going to grow for the next video on the WFL, and we're going to learn more about an even bigger machine. So stay tuned for that one.